the um send me the cash app. You know, but I want to now. I and I just want to be honest. It's going to be kind of hard because with the cash app, I can't guarantee the exchange because what I'm trying to develop is a relationship of exchange. So when people are giving to Giami Journey, I want to make sure that Giami Journey is always able to give something back. And the system we have set up is like stuff is going to start going out on a monthly basis to all of those that are, um, in a sense, supporting us directly. You know what I'm saying? And so I got to figure out ways to get people linked in so I can make sure that they that that we get that we're formulating and we're u- utilizing the very principles that um that our culture is based on exchange you know what I'm saying reciprocity we want to get reciprocity working for us and you know what I'm saying and that's what we're going to do here so this morning we're going to toast I'm going to use some of this ambrosia that I'm that should be ready but it wasn't ready yesterday because I wasn't ready for that you know, I mean, I got to mentally prepare myself to be drinking, right? It, it, you know, I put myself through a mental process so that I can handle liquor. I didn't know that the bitters was liquor. Call me stupid. I didn't know. I'm sitting up here like, hey, it's bitters. Hey, you know, I see I see other people doing bitters and they go to the toilet and feeling better. And I didn't know the alcohol content on there. And the amount that I drunk yesterday. I know y'all like, brother, I told you that what you a lightweight. Okay. I'll be a lightweight. But hey, it is what it is. So today, me and Cleve, right after I get done with the show, me and Cleve, we'll be going into the kitchen and we will we'll be brewing up this ambrosia. Now, uh once again, those that ordered the original, I will have original available today. Those who have special orders. I'm gonna have to let the fruits, uh, um, the fruit and the herbs and stuff, the herbs and spices, like Kentucky Fried Chicken, the secret herbs and spices. I'm gonna have to let them sit and simmer, right? Let them sit until about Ujima. So those will roll out on Ujima, right? Hopefully, hopefully things will be slow enough for me to go on and be like, boom, pull it out, knock it out. Everything's everything's copacetic. Right, but anyway, let's go and do this toast so that we can start having these call-ins. But my fault, before we even get to the toast, let's handle business. Take a breath. Children, my children, my children. Sasha, Gina, and Clay. Yeah. Front and center. That means come here, please. Come hither. Excuse me, Spreakers. Real life here, Giami Journey. Mm-hmm. Now, I want to go out. I'm Whether that's going to Swenson's or I don't know. But I want this house clean. Um, bring them back to the clothes up. I need this room swept so that they can put them clothes down and start folding them. I need the clothes folded. I need the bathrooms clean, young ladies. I need all the rooms swept. Huh? How about the upstairs bathroom? Okay, cool. Turn that fan off so that means you only got to fold clothes. So that means the sweeper could be ran in here. Gina, since you wasted that stuff yesterday, you can run that sweeper. Right up in here, make sure it's clean. And then y'all go clean, bring those baskets up. Go clean that, go clean that kitchen, please. I'm glad my youngest baby understand me. You've been around me the longest. You should understand. Real life here, Giami Journey. What you still sitting there for? I'm waiting for Gina to sweep so I can get them clothes. Okay. Start on the kitchen. All right, I can't wait to be able to have commercials. Dang, how am I going to do the commercials for Spreaker? Oh, my God. Huh. I wonder if... Hmm, maybe I'm asking the wrong question. You're only as intelligent as the questions you ask. 
And I'm wondering if I'm asking the wrong questions. Maybe I can connect. How would I do that? Hmm. All right. So it's almost time to go live. We're about to go live again, Spreaker. So thank you for hanging in there with us. Shouts out to the Spreaker fam. Shouts out to the Spreaker fam. Man, oh man. Gina, I asked you to sweep. Somebody about to get struck down. I don't want my to get in the sleeper. Room. Okay, cool. You, 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 I don't like how you're doing it. You're moving slow, whatever, whatever. Got it, but first you'll need to unlock your phone. Google, shut up. We are back. We are back. We are back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, what is going on with, you know. But anyway, Google is spying on me, trying to figure out what I'm thinking about. But they ain't going to get me. Well, I guess. But anyway, we about to do our toast. Let's go do our little transition. Um, my daughter going to run the sweeper, which wasn't a smart choice for me. Shots out to my auntie, Georgia Ellis. And... I'm trying. I, I I don't I don't speak. Um, all right. So I think she can hear me. Okay. Hopefully y'all can hear me out there. All right. So let's. Uh, Cause I'm still trying to figure out the emojis. I you know I I'm I don't use the emojis. Uh, but anyway, let's go and do our toast. So first off, giving honor to the creator by whatever name you choose. Call that creator. We lift up our glass. And we salute that creator and we say, Ashe. From their family, we move on to toast our ancestors. You want me to wait till you do the ancestors? Um, yeah, I'll put on a commercial after I get done. So, um, but actually, go around the sweeper. Because I'm going to be, uh, family, we're about to run. It's, it, as, as y'all know, as y'all know, um, after dealing with Giami Journey for years, that it's always, 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 Always real life here at Giami Journey. It's always real life at Giami Journey. Always, always, always. So right now, as Gina is running the sweeper, we need to get some of this stuff up too so that you don't mess my stuff up. We're going to toast our ancestors. We lift up our glass and we salute our personal ancestors. We start. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robin, the Texan, and David Turner, Brown, Sidney, Rosalie, Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, Crystal, Fanny, Gaston, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Aunt Finn, Cleveland, Geneva Brown, Michael Ellis, Watch Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Aval Brown, Jenny Gaines, Herman Brown II, Barbara Twiggs, Watch Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillar, Master Chief Pitmanel, No More X, Pat Meyer, Ron Malika Pacor, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamau, Elder Farmer, Elder Middle Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder e Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofo, Eki Jr., J. Edwards, Carlisle Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pullen, the Luster Brother, Miss Edith Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Lonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kel Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Trace, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Lorella Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Renderman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lois Henderson, Kevin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susan B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Mel Del Haas, Mel Del Haas Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beattie, Sarah Ware, Libby the Farmer, I go so soon, Shell Harvey, I Charmaine, I Evelyn, Theola Hasbury, Harry Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.T. Islam, Thoreau Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thornton, Pearl G. Thornton, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thornton, Edgar Trisha Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary Eliza Fergie Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary, Mary Esther Kuchler Reese. Said that wrong. Said that wrong. Let me make sure I get it right. Hold on. Um. 
Where are we? Here we go. Mary Eliza Frederick Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, Mary Esther Kitchener Reese, Linda Watson Hammonds, Terrell Giles Watson, Sparrow Slimmy, Seven Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Percy Moore, Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Here to Pierce, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Banks, the Mae Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie E. Quells, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quells, Randy Thornton, Brandy Quells, Ernest E. Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Mr. Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, Anthony Johnson, Jerry Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. S. Senior, James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry Ward, James Farmer, Mary Javaz, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Adam Levesque, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Taylor, Rose Mary Marginaire, Ada Elder Amitab Wellman, Fred Douglas Trick Senior, Thelma Tricks, Thomas Alula Berry, Lacey Allen Know How, Frank Russell Davis, Fred Douglas Trick II, Vinnie Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Singer, Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy May Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Richard Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Paula Soya, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, D'Amico Russell, Dini Monaries, Gina Roke Jones, Janet Callahan. We also have William Walter West, Nigella Parrish, Elder C.G. Fellani, Jim Robson, Gladys Johnson, Valerie Clark, John and Mary Sullivan, Dirk Johnson, Antonio Johnson, Elise Waters, Defridis Hines, and his Bostic, and Bostic, Winifred Scannerberry, Wilson Haley, Emma Hines, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spradling, Kevin Spradling, Charles um, Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee, Prince of Jr., Miriam Johnson, Wilbur Longmire, Isaac Cadney, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Liam Pina Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosey, Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Elon Blair Sr., Edward Stevens, Sue Ann Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Carla Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, R.G. Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Jennifer Sensabaugh, Hazel Gasson, Jay Brandy, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Jason Kathy Bradford, Thomas Bradley, also known as Uncle Buki, also known as Gypsy, Reverend Roosevelt Ward the first, Stacey Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irvin, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Francis Booth Jefferson, Dan Wilkinson Sr., Emma McClendon, Jerry Doyle, Mina Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Greg G. Two Gibson, Donna Hill, Richard Bleavis, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Gosher, George and Hallie Johnson, Archie and Margaret Armstead, Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Claire Fox, Gene Evans, Archie Beck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, um, Becca, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and, Edwin, um, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hatch, Kimball Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie, Harry Tubman Case, Vincent Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Nino, Baby Hatch, Hatch Senior, Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alex Nixon, John Bowie, Lester and Rachel Saunders, Dorita Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Ida Casey, Thomas Cooper, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Port Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Leroy Q. Heap Sr., Albert Moore, Miss Vanilla, Albert Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Ernest in Houston, Lud Alls, Elijah Alls, Rome Alls, and West Staten, Joe Jamel Alls, and Pierce, Donald Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Beth Vaughn, John Dewey, Ruth Beer, Tim Butler, Remy Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., Barbara Naeem, Jeanette Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Bradley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Muriel Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Charlie Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Irvin, Harold Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Urban, Michael Urban, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Carwell Sr., Robert Lee Carwell, Nevaeh Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rashawn Easley, Javel McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Chekamaha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Patricia Reed, Edward R. Benson Sr., Ethel H. McNair, Lois Fernandez, Jacqueline Broaddus, Reginald Albert, Mazarin Copra, George Swan, and Monia Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles H. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sybil Evans McNabb, Andy Ferguson, William Ferguson, Shelby McClendon. What's wrong? We have Joella Giles, we have James Carswell, we have Liberta Adams, also known as Aunt Six. We have Elder Shaka McNair, Anthony Brown, Jonathan Ford, Lottie Gaucher, Cousin Tony, Michael Johnson, James Jimmy Johnson, Barbara Shang Lewis, Ronald Shelton Jr., Damian Top, Westina Banks, Joseph Bingham, Quincy, Mama, Aunt Lady, Abraham Isaac Cundiff, Aunt Barbara Lewis, Renee Johnson, Joy, Ryan, Joy 
Ryan Ross Wiggins, Demonte, Marcus Price, Ness Words, Marshawn McHale, Demetrius Beard, Herb Jefferson, Ralph Mickens, Eric Walker, Quasi Sample, Candace Simmons, Summer Clayton, Leonard Jones, Sade Garner, Melvin Scott Sr., Elder Clarence Lumpkin, Elizabeth Johnson, Frank Smith, Stacey Trice, Denise Gore, Nathaniel Hassan Turner, Khaled is in transition. Also known as Nigel Turner, I'm, uh, Demetrius Lewis Flynn, Alberta Woods, Geneva Simmons, Daniel Tilly, Angeline Gans, Sharifa, Oscar Kane, Audrey Gripper, Dominique Nichols, Ruthie Lane Johnson, Teresa Sambu, Aunt Maxine, Uncle James, Henry Monger III, Tamara Dowdy, Nicole Harris, Julia Taylor, Richard Bozeman II, Ruth Carly, John Carter, Mr. Thornton, Johanna, Jasandra Lynette Lewis, Henderson Mosley, Charles Jordan, Henry Essex II, Fanny L. Webb, Dan Walton, Al Alti, Sue Walton, Emma Walton, James Randolph Giles, Sonny, Pete Walton, William Walton, Fred Powers, Elijah Juan Hakeem and Como, Alberta T. Davis, Charles Davis, Willie R. Mackey, also known as Dr. Creamy Mackey, Victor Bowden, Drusilla Kitty Berger, we got Lucy White, Robert Lee White, Emma Jean White, Talton, Roger White, R.L. White, Jesse White, Ruby Jewel White, Johnson Carl White, Jesse Woods, Talar Woods, Lennox, Jim Woods, Lizzie Woods, Juanita Alexander Brown, Cynthia Ann Wright, Richard Dorsey, Annie Simpson, Jamara Simpson, Regina Hopkins, Joseph Simpson, Eddie Dorsey, Arnold Hopkins, Edward Webster, Alice Webster, Ivy Webster, Arnella Willis, Ethel Lane, Samantha DeMon, Ethel Marshall, Steve, Dougie Shelton, William Bill Walker, Carl Rico Johnson, Kim Gray, Stuart A. Johnson, Edward Young the third, Isaac Jackson Sr., Drusilla Merle, Wayne Young, Christina Young, Thomas Young, Frank Merle, Sylvester Foster, James and Lizzie Winston, Abe and Julia Lawrence, Ozell Leathers Sr., Gladys Coper, Ozell Leathers Jr., Geneva Jackson, R.J. Lacey, also known as Toot the Don, Sarah Winston, Chris Kinney, Margaret Minter, Mary Smith, Juanita Florine Stith Gibbs, Carl William Duncan Jr., Jana Callahan, Danny Hill, Miko D. Nice Hill, Andre Martin, Mabel Williams, Terry Brown. And I have one more that I did not reach out to my mom and get the name for. So, um, Ancestor, whatever your name is, remember it's a mistake of the mind and not of the heart. Man, oh man, we raise up our glass and we salute all these ancestors upon whom shoulders we stand. Man, oh man, it is... I, once again, I want to thank y'all for allowing me to uh, to do this, for supporting me in doing this. It is incredible. Yes, ma'am. Gina, keep on wanting this. Gina, look like you got on lipstick. Huh? I don't. All right. Um, should I take a word for it? There's about to be some checking going on around here. Right? We raise up a glass. We salute each and every last one of our ancestors that combine us. That make us strong, that are blessing us. And man, do this Ambrosia smell good. We raise up our glass, and with that, we say the mighty word of our shade. From there, family, we move to the present moment. What's popping off in the present moment, Brother Hot Tim? Right now, we are on Imani, as Brother Kwame, Brother Kwame informed us because I had the wrong day up. Ain't that something? Again. Again. The day is Imani, family. Once again, I ask you to activate your reticular formation. And seek out the money, okay? Seek out the money. It's out there. It's waiting. Like a hashtag it and post it up on our timeline on Giami Journey, right? So now, an elder in a conversation pointed out. Can you turn that light off so that the family turn off, please? A elder pointed out that when she was trying to go to Giami Journey, it would rather take than taking the Giami Journey media. It would take her to Giami Journey page. So what I'm gonna do? What you gonna do? How you gonna handle that problem, brother? I'm gonna stream on the Giami Journey page now. So I'm dreaming, streaming on the Giami Journey page, and I'm streaming on Giami Journey um, group. So rather, because what was going on was people was being routed to the group. When we don't do streaming on the group, we do streaming on Giami Journey Media, the page, right? So to catch everybody, now we streaming on the group. I mean, simple solution, right? I mean, you know, I just don't like, I, I don't like flooding the timeline of Giami Journey Media um, on that, um, on that specific, uh, in that specific way. Because, you know, the, the, the sisters that's handling that, they got to lock down, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be interfering with their flow. And I'm like, yo, man, we got, we got to get these words out. We got to get these, this discussion out. So, um, so. Back to the present moment. Um, along with you seeking out Giami Journey, 
with um, you seeking out the principle of mind, excuse me, I'm mixing up my words. I also um, want to send out um, a round of celebration and cheer all those Imani born babies. Trying to do three things at one time, that's what I get, right? But anyway, but anyway, so for those that don't speak the language, Imani means faith. So we are looking for faith in our lives. Evidence of it is there. The principle is there. All right, so we have faith. Um, we have harmony. Harmony, which is the mind principle. We have trust, which is what we teach in the M7. We got the color red, as you can see by my red Giami Journey shirt. As well as my red undershirt, the Daily Toaster shirt. Um, we got gender, which is the hermetic, which is the hermetic law today. We got the male name for the day, Quasi, and female name Akosua. So shots out to all of those. And family, we want to raise our glass and we want to toast this marvelous, marvelous moment. This marvelous, marvelous time that we in, this this moment that we are in. So we lift up our glass and we salute this moment. We empower this moment. We realize that this is all that we have and we're going to work with it to the best of our ability to build upon it for our future generations and to maintain and expand what our ancestors have left us. So we lift up our glass and guess what we say? We say the mighty words of Ashe. That's dope, right? Anyway, we lift it up and we say our shake. From there, family, we move on to the future generations. I'm sitting around looking at my kids, doing chores, and like, yo, future generation, future generation. You know what I'm saying? They out here doing anything. So I said, Gina out here messing with this garden, even though we ain't planning to be here. So I, I Daddy, me and Cleek. We're taking care of everyone. Oh, they're taking care of animals in the garden. Okay, so they have you have a farm. Is it a pig out there? Is it a sheep out there? You're making a worm farm, which is a very profitable business. We're not I'm just saying, but if you, I mean, I just want y'all to know, there's a there's a business for everything. People buy worms. Worms are very important. It's called permaculture. But anyway, dealing with the future right now. So we lift up our glass and we toast our children, our children's children onto infinity. You know, during these time, a lot of them experiment. They're going to tear up a lot of your shit in the house. But, you know, they're going to experiment. I'll be finding all types of little just unexplainable. You know, I just be trying to, you know, what were you trying to, can you tell me what you was trying to do at least so I could feel better about your experiment? No, they don't have nothing. They be like, Pops, I ain't got nothing for you. I, I don't even have, I don't understand. I don't know what I was doing myself. Be like, damn. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. All right. But, you know, anyway, but, you know, we got to inspire the future. So we raise our glass to that future generation. And we say, I say, from there we move on. From there we move from the future generations. We lift up our glass and salute all of our relations. And from all of our relations, family, we move to the selfish toast. This is time for those of you that's out there doing that work. If you're doing that work, I'm raising this glass for you right now. What is it that you need? To become better. Becoming a better person. To be more efficient at what you do. What is it that you need in this moment? Right now. While we got our ancestors listening. While we got the creator and we're listening. Because we consciously turned on the switch. And I need y'all to know that every time we do this ritual. They are present. They're waiting for us. They're waiting for us. They're waiting for the ask. What's the ask that you have for them? Right? What's the ask? Right? Family, come on now. If we doing this, let's do it for real. Let's don't play with it, right? We doing it, let's do it for real. We're not just doing this for show. We doing it because it works. Alright? We raise up our glass, and with that we say, I say, from there, family, last but not least, I want to toast the most beautiful, the most uplifted, the most committed, the strongest person in the room. I want to lift up the glass and I want to salute. I want to salute you. Yes, you. You are the greatest in the room. 
Ha! Where's my napkin? But hey, but anyway, I'm just joking. But in all seriousness, family, I raise my glass to you. And with that, we say, I say. I say. I say. Family, I wish you peace, power, joy, 100 years. And as we say in Giami, kept in. And it is getting real here. Right? Because family, listen. As, as the supporter list grows, this means that the services that we will be able to offer will also grow. This means that it's a possibility that the ebooks will grow. This means that the 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 the, the writing, the personal writing in the newsletter will grow. This means that we will be able to have young people that will be able to engineer and be able to do different things, whether we're having a festival live or whether we're having a festival over the internet. This means that we will be able, as soon as this thing breaks down, we will be able to go out and have a camping trip and invite all of our supporters. The more we grow, the more powerful we become. You know what I'm saying? And the more supporters we get, family, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the pennies and the dollars. We at Giami, we are going to show you what we are going to do. Yeah, we still going to have some fundraisers, but those of you that's already given, you know, I ain't listen. I ain't, he ain't talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Let, let it roll right down your back and be like, cool. Hey, it, I'm supporting. I'm a supporter. Right? But we ain't going to have to raise that much. And we're not going to have to be on here talking about it that much because people are saying, listen, listen, we're going to throw this $10 a month at Giami Journey because we've been seeing it. We've been seeing the consistency. Y'all see that every day I get up and I do this. Every day I'm doing something in our community. Every day. And it's not just me. It's I got we got a crew of people that's working. We got a, we got a we got a village that's working. Every day. In some form or fashion, I'm in contact with somebody from the tribe or from the village. And we're constantly, constantly thinking about how can we better serve our people. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. How can we provide opportunities for our people? Right? And I'm like, yo, so, you know, one of the major pieces that I'm pushing, and once again, I'm pushing it again, family, a Giami journey, especially those that are supporters. If you have a story to tell, if you have a class that you want to build, reach out to, reach out to us. Reach out, out to Brother Hot Tim specifically because I will help you put your stuff together and, and get it up and get it out. I'm trying to tell you, family, right now is the time for you to write that book. Right now is the time for you to put together that e-course. Right now is the time. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Because right now on Giami Journey, we need content. I do. I could do a show. If I wanted to be about me, I could do a show. You already know. I could stream all day. Folk Tales for Grown Folks. I could stream all day. Uh, 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 give yourself permission. I could stream for at least five hours. You know what I'm saying? Daily toes or just Giami Journey. I can stream for three months. But I don't it's not a, it's not it's not about me. It's about us coming together as a community and putting stuff together and building. Now for those that want to join the conversation, because you know I'm getting kind of hyped, I'm gonna go on and I am going to post up the black line. The black line is open for those that want to get on. Let me make first uh post it up. All right, the black line is up, 614-556-4535. Once again, the number is 614-556-4535. Um, and like I said, we can have conversation. It's y'all time right now. What is on your mind? What is popping off in your world? What is important that you think that people need to know about? You know what I'm saying? Stop hiding your wisdom. Stop hiding your knowledge. You might have something. You might be able to share something that might change somebody's perspective. Oh, I ain't drink. I'm sorry. Hmm. Hot damn. Cleve, we're going to bottle this up. You want to taste that? This that COVID killer. That's the that's that's the new process where I do the honey at the end. Taste how, taste how it's different a little bit? Yeah. Mm, you want some more? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It ain't as strong as it used to be. But it's still, it's stronger. I don't fool you, Cleve. I don't, I don't fool him into health. He think he's drinking a fruit drink. But he really drinking a fountain of youth. All my kids is going to age real slow because they going to all know how to brew. 
And some of these some of these other young people that's coming along, they're gonna know how to do it as well. Cause I got plenty of scobies. Mm-hmm. Woo! Got a little got a little tang at the end. Lord have mercy. Feel like I'm drinking bitters again. But nah, I'm just joking. Mm. But that increase that increased the honey content. Me, man. It, ooh. Those little those little things is having a good time. Those little bacteria and yeast in there having a real they're having a good time. Now it's time for us to go on, you know, like I said, lines are open. 614-556-4535. Feel free to call in and join us. Shock if you still out there, my friend. By all means, call back in. Let's get this conversation popping off. Let me make sure because sometimes the black line will hang up on. Uh-oh, Shock is already on there, or is this an old screen? Let me refresh. Reload. No, he hung up. All right. But anyway, family, I'm reloading the screen, giving us a couple, a few more moments to make sure that everything is copacetic, everything is working right. Oh, man, I ought to take, you know. And I think, I think... Uh, so me and my kids, we're gonna go get something to eat and, and probably go get some some air somewhere. Can we go can I go do the rock ritual again? The who? The rock ritual. Maybe. We uh, it depends on how wet it is out there. But uh she's talking about the rock ritual for those that's been around GRMA and Underground Railroad and you've seen the documentary. Yep, there's a documentary. We've been doing this a long time. And there's a ritual um, in one of our walks that, you know, is like generations old. It's generation. I mean, well, I ain't going to say generations old. If you have to make a wish on your They can't hear you, girl. You got to come. You know what I'm saying? And and you don't be giving away the family secrets. I do that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you how to do it. Is this a caterpillar or So, but anyway, she want to go and do the rock ritual. And I, you know, I'm not, I'm not opposed to it. As long as we are able to. Long as we are able to social distance, I am totally, totally cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. Um, so um, so you know, so she want to go up there, and it's a, and that park is up there by one of our favorite restaurants that uh, actually um, allows for you to keep a safe distance. From everybody, because they bring your food to your car. It's called Swinson's, you know. And you know, wait, stop. That's that should have been a commercial. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cause like I said, family, we got to build up. We trying to do the media because you don't hear ABC News in your town just going in and, and just shouting people out for no uh uh. Mm -mm. So here we go. So let's go on to our news feed. It's transition. Boom. Uh, hold on, ladies. Now, before we go anywhere, I need these clothes folded. I asked that already, right? That's why you sweat. I don't know why y'all go play in the dirt and then come in. Uh, uh. What? Okay, that's cool. Well, I'm, uh, get them clothes. It's real life here, Jamie Journey family. It's real life. Can you get the clothes? All right, so let's go down the timeline. This is Jamie Journey Media. As you see up in the top, when you want to go to the page, go to Giami Journey Media. If you just type in Giami Journey, more than likely they're going to bring up two groups. They're going to bring out just Giami Journey, then they're going to bring up Giami Journey Tribe. Giami Journey Tribe is an older group that I haven't used in a long time. Giami Journey, the um, Giami Journey group is a group that was formed off the page where you can have private conversations about some of the stuff we're talking about and not have to worry about being censored. Or everybody being involved with how you think. Because, you know, because we do need to have some, some spaces where people can express themselves without any without having to worry about the whole world seeing it. Because there are some conversations that we do need to have in private. No doubt. Right? No doubt. You know, because it's, you know, because it's, there's a lot of... Elder Margarita, she say, quite here. Can't hear? Okay. Hopefully y'all can hear me. But anyway, 
there's a lot of, there's a, how can I put it? There's a lot of discussions that we really got to have about some of the stuff that we, that we, that we need to deal with. You know what I'm saying? In our community, right? Because, because leadership, we are going to have to really, really sit down and have a real discussion about leadership in our community and the directions that we are being pulled in and and actually we might need to even get to a point where we are actually throwing out definitions for what it means to be a leader in the black community what it means what are the responsibilities what are the consequences what's wrong Hey, Clay, bring these clothes up for these girls so they can stop having an excuse, please. They're putting it on you now. I told you. But anyway, we have to, we have to, we have to start really having these serious conversations. And as we start moving with our plan for 2023, because I know Columbus is not the only city that we could go on have in our pocket after 2020. It's not. It's not. We got Akron, Cleveland, Canton, Cincinnati. You know what I'm saying? Let alone some of the some of the other states. I'm just talking about Ohio right now, family. We can have a platform so big and so undeniable, so that when we bring up um, reparations and, and and motherfuckers start doing some of the side talk. We can immediately dismiss them. You, you, you will be dismissed from duty um, during this next election cycle. See, because this is this is how you got to do it. Because we're going to move as a stubborn minority, and a majority of our people, a majority of our people, are looking for the leadership. That I don't have, I don't have time to be going through the news. And we're just looking, they're looking for people that they can trust. Because this is the issue. We're trying to build a community and tell people to be jacks of all trades. What? Put the rugs back. Family, why is our community the only ones that got to be jacks of all trades? Huh? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, to be a jack of all trade and a master of none. My little private message is popping up. I got to... I'm gonna have to fix this. Fix. I'm gonna figure out how to fix this somehow. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? If you are an electrician, why is electrician and have somebody that you can go and have a conversation about politics when I have to go in super deep into it? Why are we the only group that we we want to hold people fully responsible for knowing the whole pol- political process? You think you think white people know the whole? Political process? No. But what they do have, they do have a structure within their community where they are able to hold their leadership responsible because I'm trusting you to do your job because I'm doing my job and I'm paying taxes to make sure that we are able to keep this thing right. And if you are not delivering, we have consequences. If you are lying, we will find out because there's other people who have a certain level of mastery that they're going to be able to pick out your lies. Leadership a lot of times, because what we, what, in a sense, what we're trying to do with Giamme, right, is eventually, like I said, this is why I said look, we need to get to the hundred, our first hundred, and start pushing towards a thousand. Why? Because what that does is that gives you individuals that can work full time on this. Now, brother, why do you want somebody working full time on the media? Because an important part of the media aspect is what's happening or what's labeled the news. What's happening? This means that you have dedicated individuals, dedicated individuals to be able to let you know what's happening. They could go, they could go through the articles, they could go through the studies, they could go through the the, the, the research, they could find the numbers, and they could just package that so that you will be able to have the proper conversation with your leaders and make the proper choices. I don't think that's a lot to ask. Actually, I think that is very important for us to start really looking at um, in, 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 in our future building Right Because the media arm The media arm Gives you the information 
about what's happening politically. Does it not? Now, and depending on the leaning of that media organization, that 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 leaning comes out in their reporting. But we don't have any systems. We have very few stations, very few, very few outlets. You know, because like I, I mean, like I said, I don't necessarily a hundred percent agree with anybody. But let me say this about that's beautiful, Jesus. Thank you. But Roland Martin doing his goddamn thing. You understand what I'm saying? Doing his thing. We got other. We got other uh, people like um, Yvette Cornell has sto is throwing together. Because I want y'all to think about this. Yvette Cornell is throwing together a political education piece, and this is what she has been pushing for the last four years, as far as the ADOS piece, right? And this is a is a important outlet that people could plug in and get a framework without having to go on and think through. All of this because it's not, it's not fair for us to demand of our people what is not being demanded for everybody else. Everybody else is not being is not being dissed because they're not politically astute. Because they got leaders that they know, these leaders know that if you fuck this group over, you're done. And we need to go on and develop that mechanism within our community. All of them. You mess us over, you you're done. Don't even. Yeah, I I ain't got I ain't got no holler for you, my friend. You're done. And our and and our media arm, which is very important, because the media arm is the ones that report to the people. What happens when we are able to have reporters that go into a, a city council meeting and turn on a recorder? And actually start asking some real hard questions about the treatment of black folks in Columbus, and and are, are, is there any set aside for specifically um, African or uh, black folks for ADOS here in Columbus? You know what I'm saying? And and or, or I mean, just holding, putting people's feet to the fire because this is their job because they don't have to worry about they don't have to worry about where their check coming from because the check is coming from the people. This is what pastors supposed to be doing. Actually, I'm trying to tell you, family, listen, pastors, you are, in a sense, your collection is going so that it can support the church, no doubt. But also, the pastor is supposed to be, the, the in a sense, the representative of righteousness and be speaking about that and be, in a sense, be, in a sense, talking with these with these so-called political leaders and letting you know what's happening through his message in the pulpit. But right now we got everybody chasing the secret. We got everybody wanting the secret to success. Not realizing that you don't have no success if your whole community is in goddamn meltdown. It don't happen. One or two of us can escape, can escape. But what about the other 3,000, 300,000, 3 million, 4,000? 40 million. What does it mean for one of us to succeed when the rest of us are, going, are, are dying? Family, I keep on telling you, wealth is a community is a community commodity. Individuals that attain any wealth can only maintain that wealth if they are protected by a community. If you are not protected, you will be fleeced Every law that is changed will affect your amount of money. Politically, they will come for you. Socially, they will come for you. Tax-wise, they will come for you. There is no wealth without community protection. So, wealth is a community endeavor. I want to see wealthy people in our community. Which means that we have to start building the infrastructure... To maintain wealth, we need individuals that can uh, um, uh, 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 
instill laws that will benefit certain individuals because that's what they do. We need banking institutions that will be able to take certain people's money and maximize the return on that money. We need institutions that will educate individuals about how the process of getting money and keeping money works. It's not only a community thing, I would dare say it's a cultural thing. And because our culture has been broken, we can't understand why we're looking at other people like, how can they do that? They're doing that because they're building upon a cultural foundation that was never cracked. Your cultural foundation has been cracked. And we haven't done the repairs. We have not really done the introspection as a group to really start repairing some of the stuff that has really that's really destroying us. I don't even know how I got on that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I always do it. My daughter, my daughter said, Yeah, you always do that. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. I done chased one person away. Start running my mouth. I'm sorry. That's what I do, family. That's what I do. But like I said, I mean this whole tribe thing is it is it, it's, it's real for me. It's real for me. And I just need y'all to understand that. The whole tribe piece is real to me. And tribe support is very real to me because I see, I'm seeing some of this stuff and I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? And I have been personally affected by laws that have changed. And they didn't have me in mind when they changed the laws. And all of a sudden, me and my whole peer group group is being decimated. Decimated. What are you talking about, brother? I tell you, you know, when they made these, when they made some of these crack laws, family. Let's keep it real. It decimated us. Decimated us. And even the way we look at the world has become so warped that we cannot see the world with us at the center and us with an advantage. Because we think that it's unfair. We are all humans. And I agree. But what's wrong with you having a preferential group? Because other people do. Go to the corner store. See if they, see if they have a, a, a preference. No, they'll take everybody's money, but see if they have a preference group. Is the preference place, is it, do they have a, 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 a place where they take their money? Do they have certain places where they buy some of their products from? Hmm? Go to some, I mean, I mean, just really, I mean, just really go, 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 go in our neighborhood. Look how many of the businesses that are in our neighborhood are really, truly vested in the success of our neighborhood. Really vested. Or they just there extracting wealth, mining the black gold that walks into their doors every day. Family, I, I'm just I'm just throwing that stuff out. Stop. We need to stop being a cash cow and political cow and and all that all this other all this other stuff. We need to stop it. Uh, once again, okay. I'm almost done with Elder uh, Mariba Kelsey's book, and it will be available soon. I'm be coming with the link. I gotta, I gotta create a commercial. I'm gonna do that hopefully sometime today. But I, you know, I'm trying to wait for because I, 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 I got another computer coming. So that computer, once that computer comes, it's gonna make it a little bit easier for, um, for some of the productions that I want to move into. Um. We say we live right now, Toast and Talk, Kaumba. They still got us live right now. I don't know why that's still live. So let me go on and update the screen. Because I know I changed it. I shut down the whole stream for it. Well, it should be Toast and Talk, Imani. Shut down the whole stream. But anyway, while we waiting... 
Let me go around my mouth. Call lines are open, 614-556-4535. What are some of the things that are on your mind? What's popping out there in, 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 in my tribal folks' minds? What's, what's out there popping in, in, in my village folks' minds? What's out there? What's going on? 614-556-4535. We got a little bit more time. My daughter still ain't finished folding clothes. Once they get finished folding clothes, we'll be getting off of here and we will be traveling. We will be making. We will be doing some journey. Did y'all make up your bed? Oh, how is that? Didn't I try to clean up your room too? Yes. Oh, okay. But, you, you know, it's real life. Here in Giami Journey. We got young people that ain't making beds. It's called quarantine. Quarantine. What? You can't sing. I can't. Dang. <laughs> you just hurt my feelings. Wow. Anybody is, is am I the only one with a with, with one mean child? You got you know all your other children, they be they be but do you always have that one who's very perceptive and just well, loose with the mouth? The truth can't the truth can't hurt. I, no, truth, well I I well ask Martin Luther King if the truth hurts. He, ask he, Malcolm X if the truth hurts. I yeah. Yeah, it it can it, it can be painful. I can't ask him. I mean, you you I mean, you ain't got to talk about my singing girl. I take that very personal. I'm hurt. So I have a young girl for sale. If anybody out there want her, I'm on. Uh, I, I'm selling her cheap because she didn't. This is the last time that she gonna pump, me jump off on $10. me. Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars. That's it. Yeah. $10. Nah, baby, you worth much more than that, and I would never sell you. But anyway. Oh, she said, "Yeah, right." All right, but uh, it don't look like the you the the Facebook is gonna pop up. I guess I should have just left it. But in a minute, we won't have this problem because we're gonna have faster computers and be able to do more stuff in a rapid way. So while we waiting, let's just do this. Cool. That's how you fall some pants, y'all. Hey, uh, Spreaker. We just went to um, a commercial. Sorry, I don't have a commercial for y'all. Actually, I do. Can you turn it on? You know what to buy. But it ain't upload on. It ain't upload on this device. So I'm pulling myself some more ambrosia as we uh, as we go through the commercial. We're giving Facebook some time to pull up. What y'all think about Swinson's? Yes. Now, do they got ice cream? Uh, yes, they do. You know that. We go to Swinson's. No, we're getting the ice cream. Taco Bell? No. Okay, Swinson's. Yay. Swinson's. 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 Well, y'all gonna finish up doing what y'all doing. Clay! That's in the front. Excuse me, Spreaker. It's real life here. What do you think about Swinson's? Okay. Clean. Clean Cleveland. Can you let me sit in the front seat? No. Oh. And you know Otis is in the front. I don't care. If he says it's okay, he's in the front. No, if he says it's okay, then I can do it when I say it's okay for you. You can no. know. I actually, you can actually. So if he said okay, it'll be for me. Yep. All right, it don't look like this 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 Facebook page want to pull up. I don't know what's. I, maybe I'm running too much. We're gonna end that real quick okay. though. Family is coming. I got another computer coming. I'm just waiting. Um, and also, when I get back, when we get back, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be working on um, uh, updating Dr. Kelsey's um, latest project, and and hopefully coming up with some new projects for you because I got other people that are interested. 
And now you throw some pants. No, no. The the waist <laughs> need to be out so that you can look at it and see. So I mean, it was it was nice, but this need to be on top. All right. Okay. Look at one type of I mean, she did a good job, no doubt. Oh, what you do, Jimmy? You messed it up. It actually didn't drop into What? You folded this. That's a backfire. I don't care. Okay. You're rushing. You're rushing. Touch it. Says the only one who knows how to fold it. Says the one who doesn't even know how to shut up. No. All right, we are back, and it don't appear. It's not acting like it want to come back up. It's, it's not acting like it want to cooperate with Brother Hot Tim as we go through this news. So, family, um, y'all gonna need to call in. Y'all gonna need to call in. That's all I'm gonna say. Six one four five five six four five three five. Once again, that call in number is six one four. Five five six four five three five, and we're going to go. Of course, it's going to take me to the home first. So now I got to wait another ten minutes for it to go on and load up. Uh, but yay, yeah, um, brother Charles or C Earl, um, C Earl Campbell the third, um, has a book out, and I just posted up the link for you to go on and support the brother. The brother is dropping the information. About um, organization, an organization that um, may be working against the best interests of black folks and setting people up in leadership positions, like I just got done talking about. So now, what is, what is the consequences for individuals? Stop. Let me say something else. Real life here, Jeremy Journey. Man, but what is the consequences for somebody selling us out for a membership in an organization? What is you know what I'm saying? What is what what is the consequences from the community? We really got to talk. We got to we got to have these type of conversations, and some of it we can have right here, but a lot of it we got to have in private so that we really can really discuss what are some of the what what, are, what do you lose? Right. When I had the pleasure of talking with um, brother's name was Jajaga, he changed it to Mayat Jajaga, um, but he was known as uh, I can't even think about it. I think it was his name right now, but he was he was known for being a Black Panther. But in our conversation, he basically told us. That he wasn't a Black Panther. He said, I was I was sent to the Black Panthers by the deacons of defense. I was sent I was sent by my elders because they had been watching me. And I was told to train them young boys before they ended up getting themselves killed. Geronimo Pratt, that's his name. And in the Black Panther, one of the things that he said in the interview, and somebody stole the interview out of my car. It was it was crazy. Somebody, you know, one of the most valuable interviews that I ever had, they stole it out my car. So either oh, it was an old. operative or it was a hater. Both both of them. It was Mr. Smith. It was, you know what I'm saying? You know, Mr. Smith off the Matrix. Don't matter. It's the same thing. But anyway, let's go down the timeline. But one of the things that he said was there, there was definite consequences in the Panther organization for violating rules. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, talking to the media could be a finger. I mean, I, 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 he said that shit, and I was like, God damn. Right? But, I, you know, like I said, it would be better for you to, I mean, I wish, I wish, and I thought I sent it to, um, to uh, Elder Gaylord. As a matter of fact, I think I did. I'm going to have to reach out to Elder Gaylord and see, because I sent... Hold on. Let me let me I'll be right back.
Come here. Come here. How many times I got to tell you that to do something? Huh? Please sit down and do what you're supposed to do. Do you understand? Excuse me, I had a parenting moment right there. Speaker got to hear it. Unfortunately, I can't pause it without stopping the whole goddamn, the whole, the whole thing. But this shit is it, it's getting ridiculous here. Um, but anyway, let's go back. So we have um, so we have the post is slowly but surely coming up. We got uh. Elder Kelsey's piece. We already spoke about that. That's my little pose for today's show right here. You know. Stubborn minority. Tribe time. Alright, here we go. So let's see if they get toasted talking money. They got it right now. There we go. We got 48 people reached 23 engagements. Thank you, family. Six comments. Thank you. Can I get a couple of shares? While y'all out there, make sure you like and share. Get to work. Get to work. Your tears won't hurt them clothes. And you better watch your eyes. And you better watch that mouth. It's real life here, Gianni Journey. It's about to get real around here in a minute. Uh, Alright, now, for those that might be interested, um, a media shower of Haley Comet debris to peak this week. And they give you advice on how to best see this event. But let's go and get into some other news. Um, we're going to... Matter of fact, we're going to take a couple of seconds. Let's see if anything else pop up. I'm going to go and go there. Excuse me. And we're going to... See more. There we go. <gasps> we're going to take a look a few minutes. Install. See, how do you see the meteor shower? Family it will be very important for you and possibly some of your family members to go out and check out the meteor shower. So that your children know that there's a lot more going on in the universe than we know. Right? There's a lot of stuff going on out here. And a lot of people don't even take time to look up at the night sky no more because uh, we got all these lights. So, this is how you do it. And... Uh, post-COVID world going and seeing the media shower. Let's see. Haiti's Comet won't swing by Earth again until 2061, but you could see pieces of it this week. A media shower made of debris from Haley Comet will peak this week, according to news outlets. The meteor are bits of Haley Comet that separated from the comet many hundreds of years ago, according to the American Meteor Society. The Edite Aquardi a quarried meteor shower is expected to peak before dawn on May 5th. Bill Cook, NASA's Meteor, Meteor Environment Office um, head, told Space.com. Stargazers can expect to see between 30 and 40 me meteors every hour if the conditions are right, according to the Weather Channel. They're only seen on the morning side of the earth sometimes not clearing the horizon until 2 or 3 a.m. according to the American Meteor Society most observers in the northern hemisphere have a two-hour window prior to dawn to view these meteors the Meteor Society said on its website people closer to the equator will have the best uh, luck in catching the shower according to space.com to improve air quality because of the coronavirus lockdown could also improve visibility for media shower, the uh, Weather Channel reported. Now, this is coming from, and you can look it up yourself. There's other articles as well, but I just want y'all to be aware of some of the, the astronomical events that are happening because it's important that we start learning how to look up, start identifying stars for our children. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, you know, because, you know, my kids was asking stories because Elder Tony had told them about the drinking gourd. So they start asking stories about some of the stars. So I got to start pointing them out. And then you also could frame some of this, some of them stories and some of the stuff 
from the stuff up in the stars with our history. Not just the North Star. How about Orion's Belt? Also, what should be called, not Orion's Belt, the SARS Belt. The three stars. That point. They point at something. What are they pointing at? Hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got the dog star out there. I ain't gonna, you know. What is the dog star? How is that significant to us as a people? Um, if they if it's still wet, put it in a pile and then we'll take it and put it back in the dryer. All right, let's see. Oh man, nothing came up again. Man, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let me just grab my damn phone. Just grab my phone. I know how to do it. Watch this. Y'all ready? Y'all ain't ready for this. Y'all really ain't ready for this. Watch. So, I'm going to go to my phone. I'm going to go to our Facebook page. The page. Right? I'm going to click post. And I'm going to roll down. It's a shame my phone works faster than my phone. I mean, my phone... Well, actually, my phone might have a... My phone has a better processor than my... Alright, um... So we on the media shower. So now, I'm looking at our goal. We had to do something trying to prevent massive food waste. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click on this and watch. Modern technology. This is from the New York Times. Now my phone moving slow. It does some shit. I look like I just can't win for losing. You know what I'm saying? Feel like Teddy Tepenegrass singing that song, Two Time Loser. All right, well, we'll go another way. Y'all about to be amazed again. Can't stop, brother. How Tim wants to, oh, damn, they just stopped me. All right, let's do it again. Let's do this. Uh huh. There we go. What? How do you fold this? Fold what? What is it? Fold it just like a shirt, Gina. Yeah, how? Figure it out. Button it up. Button it up. Let's fold it. Like a long sleeve shirt. Why isn't it going to the page? Oh my God. This is so embarrassing. All right, family. Look like we might have an early. Uh oh. Here we go. Hold on. Let's see. Look like we might have to go on and um, pull up the show in a second. Because I got some slow stuff, but it's cool, man. We we moving. All right, let's see. All right. My Chromebook is moving a little bit faster. Let's see if I can get this information over to you real quick. Oh, Lord have mercy. Are you electronics are moving slow? Huh? Are you electronics are moving slow? It would have, well, I... Cause considering the chip that you know, because my computer actually has for for the time, it was a pretty good chip. But you know what I'm asking it to do is is really, really, you know what I'm saying? I'm asking it to do about eight things at one time. You know what I'm saying? So for it to have lasted and done as well as it has done for me, I couldn't ask for nothing better. But hey, you know, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull as much out of it as I possibly can. That's what we supposed to do, right? Oh yeah, yeah. We supposed to, we supposed to, we supposed to strive. You know what I'm saying? To pull the best out of out of things. All right. So now, watch this, family. Get ready for it. Y'all ready? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a program called called uh, Push Bullet. And I'm going to push this article from off of here. Since we can't get to it here, I'm going to push it on Push Bullet onto my screen. Give it a second. Hopefully it works. Won't try to embarrass me. So I'm going to open up another screen. And I'm going to go to Push Bullet and see if it, because it should have went to all my Chromes. But I guess that's too much for it. Nope. 
You didn't make it over. So, family, we're going to call the show. Oh, here we go. Ah, right, there we go. Y'all see it? Call the show. Boom. All right, there we go. Let me move to the next story. Get it ready, get it cased and everything. What's all that stuff in that basket, Gina? The socks. Oh, uh, y'all can't try to find the, the sock matches? You, you can't, they can't stay in the basket forever. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. They don't, they can't stay in the basket forever, baby. All right, so this is the main one and then we out of here. We had to do something. I want y'all to think about this. A potato warehouse in Warden, Washington on Friday. Look at all them damn potatoes. Right? We had to do something trying to prevent massive food waste. So now, our country is in the middle of a crisis. We have, we have, we can see that the the food the, the food network or the the is broken. You know what I'm saying? For how we get food from point A to point B, and all these massive food um, processors that are a choke point. For the production of a lot of food rather than there being a lot of little we have allowed these things to become monopolies and it has become dangerous for us as a, as a people and we have food shortages and we have people because they are not in a sense able to make money they don't know what else to do with the food. So they're just taking the food and they're destroying it. They're pouring out gallons of milk not because it has been exposed um, I ain't gonna say tons of milk not because it's been exposed to coronavirus, but because the coronavirus has broken down the entire system. So as many places don't need this milk, but the, those people who was drinking that milk on a daily basis is still out there. And a lot of people was drinking that milk for free. Egg manufacturers are running into the same piece. So rather than let the eggs go bad or rather than give them away, they just destroy them. So now... Some producers acknowledge the efforts are just a drop in the bucket of what farmers can't sell and are destroying instead. While millions of Americans are worried about having enough to eat and lines at food banks grow, farmers have been plowing under vegetables, dumping meat, I mean dumping milk, and smashing eggs that cannot be sold because the coronavirus pandemic has shut down restaurants, hotels, and schools. Now the destruction of food. This is from New York. This is from the New York Times, by the way. This is the and the author's name is Michael Corky, and we have a David Yaff Bellany. Now, the destruction of fresh food on such a scale has prompted action by the Trump administration and state governments, as well as grassroots efforts like a group of college students who are renting trucks to rescue unsold onions and eggs from farms. But they most likely won't be enough to address the problem if businesses remain closed for months. Now y'all know right here, y'all know right here in Columbus, family, we could go. I mean, we could probably set up something like this and get some of this, get some of this food, and distribute it. All right. Over the next few weeks, the Department of Agriculture will begin spending $300 million a month to buy surplus vegetables, fruit, milk, and meat from distributors and ship them to food banks. The federal grant will also subsidize boxing up the purchases and transporting them to charitable groups, tasks that farmers have said they cannot afford, giving them few options other than to destroy the food. Because if the farmers allow the food just to go bad, you know what I'm saying? Right, and, and they're destroying it. What they are able to do, they're able to reintroduce it back into nature, allow it to run, you know, get back into, you know, you know. So, and it could be expensive just to be giving away all this food, but you know, we got a whole bunch of, we got a country of hungry, hungry people right now. So anyway, and bored people. And well, I mean, better bored than dead, Sasha. Better bored than dead. All right, you. I mean, you're so young, you just don't know yet. But anyway, family, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. To Giami Journey. Let's go back to this real quick. You look at that. Y'all see that? Hopefully by next week we won't have this no more. You know what I'm saying? We get in a computer with with, with a with at least four cores and hopefully multi strands. We're gonna look into it, right? And it's gonna be 
able to handle a lot of the uh, the graphics that we're doing and, and stuff like that. And then also with the bigger computer coming with a uh, with a graphics card, fam, we about to we about to take it to another level. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna stop talking like a Chinese dude, and my words is gonna match my mouth. Y'all gonna be like, brother, I damn you, you did it. I'm gonna be excited too. But family, I hope you got something out of it. I hope you got something out of it. Oh, but hold on. There's one more thing that I want to talk to you about. So now on the timeline, I got how to use Discord for the family because a lot of stuff we're gonna start moving to Discord, and we're gonna be able to stream private things to our Discord groups. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be able to let you know when we start having our private sessions. I'm gonna be able to let you know when we gonna we gonna be we gonna be doing it on Giami Journey. We're gonna be doing it in our server, and I'm gonna give you a link so that you can go and get there. All right. So there's a, something on there about this course. So go on down there and check it out. Now this screen is buffering. Uh oh, look at this. Uh oh, look. Stop buffering. There it go. Oh, that caught up with us. It done caught up with us. Uh oh. This from yesterday, 69 people reached. We had 20 views yesterday. People got to watch me sink into a into a drunken stupor. Unbeknownst to myself. Felt like I got taken advantage of. Uh, but I wanted to talk about... Alright, so now... California Democrats blast Huntington Beach protesters. They undoubtedly spread the virus. So... I'm, I'm hearing in all these damn town halls where motherfuckers is coming down on black folks saying that we need to follow the rules. And in many cases, we are. And the ones of us that's, that's out are out because we got to hustle. Because the hustle builds muscle, especially when you don't have no wealth. Right? But we got motherfuckers out here fighting for leisure time. You know what I'm saying? Where is... Where is the checking for them? We don't hear Trump getting up checking his people because these are probably Trump voters. He's not checking them. But y'all want to check us. See, and, and, and family, there comes a time where we have to start really start turning our back on certain individuals when they get up and they say some dumb shit. Everybody can't come home. I'm sorry. I, I, I know I, I know some of my elders are going to disagree with me. I know some of my spiritual junkies are going to But everybody don't deserve to come back home. I'm saying erect the border and kick their ass out for good. You know what I'm saying? You, you have to bring something of, of extreme value for to, to the family for us to let you back in. Because some of this fuckery right now is getting a little bit too much. I'm hearing about how irresponsible we are, but we ain't at no goddamn beach. Yeah, yeah I heard about the party. But now I want y'all to, to understand this. I want y'all to notice the difference between a party in Chicago and people protesting at the beach. The party in Chicago, as stupid as it was, they weren't trying to get everybody's attention in a sense. Okay, they were just trying to have a little party and hook up, all right? That's a still messed up. But listen, we got motherfuckers outside in the daylight trying to track news cameras, trying to track, I mean, trying to track other people that they don't even know to a place where they can spread this virus. But yet and still, you know, the more I look, I'm starting to see more and more insulting shit as far as black folks and corona. Family, we're not the spreaders of this. And we can allow people to make it as such. Because most of us is following the rules. Because we already know. And then also, I want you to understand. You know, one of the reasons I'm very apprehensive about wearing a mask. I just was talking to one of my brothers yesterday. I say, isn't it funny now that they want me they want black men to wear masks when one, at one point in time, if I had a mask on, and even now during this time, I feel strange wearing a mask because, because of other people's comfort level of a black man that's about six foot tall walking into a place of business with a goddamn mask on. Alright family, I'm about to get up. This is Brother Tim. 
I want to thank you for your time. Um, and one last time, roll the commercials, please. How about a letter when I come back? All right, speaker, we out.